Hello my Taurus lovelies, welcome to your reading for the month of July 2023. My name is Natasha, also known as Nerd Natasha. If you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, welcome back. We're going to pull some cards to see what's going on for you, my lovely Taurus, in July of 2023. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. Remember that some of this might be for you, some of it might be for another Taurus. Um, be sure to check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to do some Tarot and then we're going to do some Oracle cards. And we're going to get right into it. I'm going to shuffle this deck for a bit while I talk about some announcements on my channel. Um, I have a membership here on YouTube, if you didn't know, where we do live tarot, live yoga, um, live new moon and full moon workshops. And I'm also going to be hosting a challenge for the month of July. So on top of all those lives, um, for the month of July, I'm doing a yoga and tarot a day challenge where we're doing a yoga class based on a tarot card every day for the month of July. So if you want to come join, hit that join button. Um, we already got the cards popping out <laughs> of my lovely Tauruses before I'm even done talking. The queen of pentacles like threw herself out of the deck. We'll talk about it in a second. Um, the other thing I just wanted to say, the only other announcement is I am releasing a group coaching program for business and social media starting July 10th. You can apply now and sign up now if you would like to learn how to grow your social media like I did. I'm a full-time influencer content creator and I run my own business. I host witchcraft and wellness retreats. If you'd like to learn how to do that or create courses or coach people or host retreats or do what I do, come join us. It's a um, business coaching and social media coaching coven based in witchcraft and wellness. Um, you can apply now and we start on July 10th. So everything will be in the description box below. All right, I'm going to stop uh, shamelessly self-promoting Taurus. We're going to get right into it. So already the Queen of Pentacles has thrown herself out of the deck and this is you my lovely Taurus I mean she is the queen of earth and she is the queen of the home and hearth she is the queen of kind of like I see I truly see the queen of pentacles even though the empress is the culmination of all the queens I see the queen of pentacles the most similar to the empress because the empress is Taurus and Libra vibes um but she is the queen of luxury of comforts in the home and the hearth and and the family and then the material she is the abundant queen um you know, she has worked hard for what she has and now she has it. And she just kind of lives in abundance, which we love to see Taurus. And that is definitely your vibe. So first let's look into what is Taurus leaving behind in the month of June. As we're moving into July, what is Taurus leaving behind in June or kind of what's the tail end of June? What is Taurus leaving behind in June as we move into July? chaos mode works. It's where I just shuffle the cards and see what falls out. But I think we'll have to, oh, there we go. Who is this? The Five of Swords. My lovely Taurus is leaving behind the Five of Swords with the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like this was you kind of fighting yourself mentally, Taurus. The Swords is the suit of the mind, of the intellect. The Five of Swords is kind of that, that fighting energy, that chaos energy in the suit of the swords. Um, a lot of the, you know, in the traditional Rider Waite, it's kind of depicted as putting the swords down. But I feel like for you, Taurus, and there's actually a little Aquarius symbol up in here, which I think is interesting on this version of the Five of Swords. So maybe you were dealing with an Aquarius, but I think for you, Taurus, it's like you did the work of the Hermit, which is the card of Virgo, but going inside, resting, meditating, hibernation. I think you did the work there, kind of I, I picture you like battling in your own mind and you, that's why you had to maybe in June kind of introvert yourself and kind of like put yourself in this hibernated, hibernation state where you kind of had to like go inward and like, uh, I just see like fighting in your brain with yourself, kind of like trying to just heal your mind and kind of shut down the chaos of your mind. You were like, I have to hibernate, I have to go inward. So that is what you are leaving behind for the month of June. We'd love to see it, leaving behind that kind of chaos in the mind, kind of putting the swords down in the mind, and you kind of went inward and dealt with that, Taurus. So what, now that Taurus has kind of calmed their mind down, maybe done a little bit of hibernation in the month of June, what is coming for Taurus in July? Will chaos mode work or will we have to choose cards from the top? All right, there we go. Okay, my lovely Taurus, absolutely after the five of swords, we're moving in the six of swords. This has been my stalker card lately, but I mean, it comes directly after the five of swords. You have calmed the chaos in your mind. You have put the swords down in your mind and now you are able to move on. And we also have the death card here. And I think it's interesting. Um, 
I have a horror tarot deck and the Six of Swords is depicted as like the ferryman, um, you know, in the underworld, um, like ferrying souls. And then again, we have the death card here. I think that you are moving on from what has died in your life. So again, not necessarily um, death isn't an actual death. It's like things that died because you did not need them anymore. They do not serve you anymore. Death is also death and rebirth. And I think it's like you let whatever it was die. That was kind of why you had, you were in that hibernation mode in, um, June and why you were kind of battling yourself in your mind. Cause it was that battle of like, I want to let this go, but like, I'm not sure. And you had to go inward and figure a really figure out what needed to be let go and what needed to be carried with you. Because the Six of Swords, as much as it is a card of moving on, it is a card of thinking about, all right, I am moving on, right? I am letting whatever needs to die, die, and I'm being reborn, but who gets, who, what gets to come with me and who, what gets left behind? The Six of Swords is getting in your boat and moving on to calmer shores, but it is about who or what energies or what people or what things are being carried with you into this new journey onto this new island or wherever it is you're going and what needs to stay behind what does not serve me anymore what is going to be left behind and i think you have figured that out for us and now you're like all right cool now i can finally move forward i can finally move on to calmer shores i can finally it's a very like with the six of swords and the death card it's a very like calm not as very extreme um death card situation like a lot of the times with death it's like a very um, aggressive or major kind of letting go and then being reborn. But I think in this case, it's like, it was your decision. You did the work and now you're able to move on in kind of a calmer fashion. Ace of Swords, so much air energy here for you, um, Taurus. I'm really feeling Aquarius because we have the Aquarius symbol um, here on the Five of Swords and then both in the Hermit and the Six of Swords, there is a star. So we have the star here, and then we have the star in the Hermit's Lantern. That's the card of Aquarius. So I don't know if maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius Taurus. Um, and then again, we have the Ace of Swords. You can see the little Aquarius symbol there as well. This is all air signs, but a new way of thinking. Ace of Swords, a new neural pathway, a new idea, a new way of doing something. Like you are definitely feeling the air energy, Taurus. And lots of things, I'm just seeing a lot of things happening in your brain like firing on all signals is like what I'm hearing is like you have so many new ideas Taurus and you're like all right how do I get going how do I bring these new ideas into reality all right that's a bunch of cards that just fell out but what have we got going on here all right okay how do we bring those new ideas into reality that was the question that I asked and a ton of cards just like fell themselves out of the deck and how are we going to do it? How are we going to bring those new ideas into reality, Taurus? The first card is the Four of Wands. Now, this card is, you can see there's like a couple dancing here, very like wedding energy. Um, it is traditionally like a couple getting married and like building their house, but it is a card of foundation. It is a card of a stable structure, um, building foundation in your life. And I think that's what you need, Taurus. If you have a new idea and you're looking to get moving on it, you need to have first the foundation. And same thing here, we have the Seven of Pentacles. It is very similar energy of planting the seeds. In this deck, it's, it's a little bit different. Actually, also a little Taurus symbol right there in the corner. So this is you, Taurus building the foundation and planting the seeds. That's what you need to focus on. If you have a new idea or if you'd like to move forward in a certain way, you need to plant the seeds and have a stable base and a stable foundation before you can move forward. Um, it's so important, like even when, if you take my yoga classes here when we're working on like lunges or warriors, um, I make sure that we find a stable foundation in the legs before we do anything with the arms. Like it is so important to lay a base um, in life and yoga and whatever it is. That's what you need to focus on, Taurus. And then add a little bit of intuition into that. The high priestess, trusting yourself, tapping into your intuition, knowing that you know what's best for you, that you can trust yourself, that you can trust your intuition. And that is where you will find victory, my friends. We have the Six of Wands right there. Look at that, Victoria standing on top of the podium. Six of Wands is the card of victory, of celebrating a huge milestone, of winning. That's the path to victory, Taurus, is trusting yourself and having a stable base and a stable foundation. What else is going on for Taurus in July? The cards are just flying for you, my friends. 
Yes, absolutely. We have the Magician here with the Queen of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So for you, my lovely Taurus, the Magician is the Alchemizer, the Manifester, Queen of Swords. She is kind of known as um, the Ice Queen, but she is able to use that sword when she needs to. Again, heavy air energy here. Taurus, you may be dealing with an air sign, but I think it's more so you tapping into your air sign vibes, which is very throat chakra, like you speaking your needs, right? That's what the Queen of Swords does. She's not afraid to set her boundaries. She's not afraid to cut people off for disrespecting her. She's not afraid to make her needs very vehemently known. And when you can do that, Taurus, when you can make your needs known and not be afraid to use that sword, because it doesn't make you a bad person, Taurus. It doesn't make you a bad person to use that sword and to do what needs to be done and to set boundaries and to cut stuff off or cut people out. I think maybe that's why you're almost afraid of like the six of swords and moving on and like the death card is because you're afraid to cut certain people or energies out, but you need to, you need to, because then and only then will you be able to magician manifest anything you want in life and also focus on the people that are good for you. Focus on the energies that are good for you. Three of pentacles. You can see there are three people here. This is a card of building with your friends, building with a support group, people that actually support you, people that believe in your dreams. You know, each of these people has a different tool in their hands. And the Magician is also a card of tools. The Magician has all the suits of the tarot as their tools on their, on their little table. Um, I think you have to leave behind who and what is not serving you. Cut them out. Be a little Queen of Swords, Ice Queen for a second. Not in a bad way. Again, you just need to cut those things out and focus on the foundation. Focus on the people that support you. Um, and I don't want to say focus on the people that have the tools that you need, because I'm not trying to say like, you know, go find people just based on what they can give you. But I'm saying like you have, I'm hearing like you have the people and the tools you need already around you. And that's what you need to focus on, Taurus, is the three of pentacles and the magician using what you already have, using what you already have to move on, to do the six of swords and to do the death thing and the death and rebirth. You need to build the foundation. You need to trust yourself and cut out people, places, energies that don't serve you and focus on the tools that you do have. Instead of focusing on what you don't have, focus on what you do have and the tools that you already have around you. All right, we're moving on to our Oracle cards. What else does Taurus need to hear in July? maybe next time it, it reminds me of spongebob with the magic cons like maybe someday i think taurus the reason maybe why you were frustrated is because like something didn't work out the way you wanted it to maybe that's why you felt like you had to hermit yourself and and go inwards and kind of deal with the chaos in your mind because maybe you tried to do something tried to do this journey before and it just kind of like didn't work out it was like a false start and the universe said maybe next time and you were like, oh man. But the thing that to notice is that there's an infinity symbol here on this maybe next time right in the center there. There's also an infinity symbol on the magician. And the magician again is the alchemizer. The magician can alchemize and manifest and create anything they want in their life. This is a, a sign to keep going, my lovely Taurus. That maybe this time, the next time is going to be the one that works now that you have healed. A card dropped on the floor. And it is, I see that you are here and I am glad. The card of not being alone. Again, you have your three of pentacles here, Taurus. Focus on who has been there for you, who has been there supporting you, even when, not. I don't want to say when you fail, but even when the things don't work out, even when it was a false start and it wasn't like your idea didn't get off the ground or whatever it was. I'm thinking it didn't get off the ground because you didn't have a stable base. And now you're going to be going you're going to be establishing that stable base and trusting yourself and doing all the things you need to do, but you have a support team with you, Taurus, and you are not alone in this uncertain space, my friends. Life is beautiful. Life is meaningful. This is the card of appreciating the small things in life, Taurus, of focusing on those little love notes from the universe that up here, um, stopping and smelling the roses, focusing on the small things that make life beautiful and life meaningful while you're going through this journey it's important to remember to just trust 
trust and listen to the small things, the small signs, the small little notes from the universe that remind you that you're on the right track. What, what have I been saying? Trust the process, Taurus. Trust the process. I know it might be frustrating because you got you got the maybe next time, you got the maybe someday, and you're like, but I want it now. But I want it now. You're literally being being told by the universe to like take it slow, focus on the small things, and trust the process. Absolutely. Bring your own seat to the table, my lovely Tauruses. That could be maybe why whatever it was didn't work out. Cause I think maybe you were trying to like sit at someone else's table where you like didn't fit in. But the interesting thing to note about this card is there are a bunch of different seats at this table, almost like a bunch of different people came and came to one table together. And it's not just, it's not like um, all these people were already at the table and you tried to come up to the table and like, they were like, you know, go away. Like I think that maybe was your maybe next time. And now it's like you're coming to a table of everyone kind of brings a certain something and there's no like shunning people. There's no like you are not the other basically Taurus. It's like you are at a table surrounded by people again who all offer something different, who are all supporting you. There's no cattiness or 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 feeling I, I I'm hearing like the people at the table before felt very like holier than thou and like that they're better and it's like no everyone here at this table is an equal everyone here in your circle is an equal and you all support each other in equal ways and the other card that came out with that is the high road you gotta take the high road Taurus it's hard when you've been told maybe next time and you've been told like not this table um you know it's it's hard to take the high road sometimes, but that's what you're being asked to do, Taurus, is, uh, the, again, Six of Swords. Who gets to come with you and who doesn't? And there's no point in lingering on, you know, that old table that you don't even want to be at anyways, Taurus. All right. What else does Taurus need to hear for July? One more, please, possibly. One more message for Taurus. Absolutely, Taurus. Carry your weather. A reminder to carry both the good and the bad, to deal with both the good and the bad. You can't just push down the bad and focus on the good. You gotta you gotta feel through it. Again, you gotta trust the process. The process is gonna have ups and downs and you have to carry all of it. But it's okay, Taurus, because it's your season. The season of the witch. Again, this is coven community. Um, being supported by your coven and community and your season. It is your time. It is our time, which is so. I love this for you, Taurus. This is definitely uh, a lovely reading. You got to get that foundation. You got to trust yourself. You got to get that support. You got to trust the process. Remember that you are not alone. And keep going. Keep going, Taurus. I believe in you. If you would like to join a coven, you can join mine here on YouTube. Again, that membership I was talking about, just hit that join button. Um, don't forget to let me know if this reading resonated in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, all those things. And again, if you are looking to start your business or grow your business or grow your social media, apply for Nourish Your Business. Um, it's a lovely online coven of people, a bunch of witchy small business owners. So if that's something you are interested in, don't forget to apply. Um, we start on July 10th. And yeah, I think that's all I have for you, my Taurus lovelies. I Don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And have a wonderful July, and I'll see you next time.